devastating tornado ripped through the town. We take a look at how one neighborhood is tackling the cleanup. And the community is still rallying behind Bowley Elementary. Details on the latest fundraiser since the tragic fire. Plus a dramatic explosion at an Arkansas fast food restaurant was caught on camera when a propane tank burst into a massive ball of fire. Hello and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Bria Jones. Chelsea has the night off. Topping our news at 10, we've seen the businesses and buildings destroyed in Ruston. But today we explore one of the city's hardest hit neighborhoods. NBC 10's Anna McAllister has the story. It looks like a scene from a movie. Trees toppled over houses. Cars completely crushed. Homes split in half. This is one of Ruston's hardest hit neighborhoods. I've been doing this 34 years. I've never seen this much damage concentrated like this. I mean, every home has got a tree on it. Almost every vehicle that was at the house are crushed. I've never seen anything like it. Line crews and tree cutters working tirelessly near Pinewood Lane in Ruston. Power lines entirely mangled by Thursday's wicked winds. Many residents with partially or completely damaged homes. I was sound asleep Thursday night and my husband came and grabbed me, yanked me out of the bed and we went and stood in the hallway with hugging pillows to stay safe. While the Addisons retreated to their hallway, a massive tree ripped through their home. Outside, their two cars totally smashed. They've been without utilities for days, camping in their severely damaged home. We have camped our whole lives, so we got a camp stove and we're able to fend for ourselves. As the massive cleanup continues, officials are asking for everyone's patience and cooperation. We're asking everybody out else at this point to stay out because this section uh, of the electrical grid is top priority right now. They're trying to keep everybody out and let these guys do their job. Miraculously, no one in that neighborhood was hurt. We're all safe, and that's what matters. Every person on our street is safe, and no one was hurt. And our furry, four-legged children are safe, too, so that's, that's a good thing. Reporting in Ruston, Adam McAllister, NBC10, your local news leader. Neighborhood cleanups are expected to continue for a few more weeks. Kate says if you're cleaning up debris, make sure to put it on the side of the road so it can properly be disposed. And now to an update for parents and students. Since the tornado, multiple schools in the Ruston area have been closed. Today, Lincoln Parish Schools and Louisiana Tech took to social media to let people know they will be open tomorrow. The Lincoln Parish Sheriff's Office says Cedar Creek School will also have class on Monday. There will be alternate bus routes for students who live in areas with severe damage. And on to a crime alert, Farmerville police need your help finding an armed robbery suspect. Police are looking for the person you're about to see on your screen. Officers say the robbery happened around 5 this morning at the Huddle House on North Main Street. The suspect is described as a black male wearing a red hoodie. Investigators say he entered the business with a handgun and took an unknown amount of money. He was last seen running towards Reed Lumber on Bernice Highway. If you have any information, call Crime Star Shoppers at 318-368-9679. And Louisiana State Police have identified two of the three people killed in a head-on collision Friday evening in Bastrop. Troopers say the two-car crash happened just before 6 p.m. on L.A. Highway 3051. According to state police, a 1997 Chevrolet Monte Carlo driven by 37-year-old Jonathan Smith was traveling northbound when the car crossed the center line and hit a 2016 Chevrolet Cruze driven by James Tulos. After the impact, Smith's car went into a ditch and caught on fire. Officials say Smith and his passenger, as well as Tulos, all died on the scene. A toxicology sample has been obtained for testing. The crash remains under investigation. And caught on camera, an Arkansas man remembering the scary moments his truck burst into flames and exploded at a fast food drive through Ron Daniel got out of the hospital on Friday night. He says he's not in a lot of pain, but he's very uncomfortable in taking medicine. Warning, the video you're about to see may be disturbing to some. He spoke exclusively to our Rochelle Turner. I've got little blisters 
only with different places. Ron Daniels sits in a chair covered in first degree burns. And I got blisters under my eyes. It's got pus water in them. The 78 year old says everything went downhill after he made a stop in BB Friday. I picked up a bottle of propane and I was gonna go buy Burger King and get me a couple of whoppers. Waiting for his flame grilled burgers in a drive through Daniel starts hearing a hissing noise. Realized it was a propane tank leaking. He tried to check the shutoff valve. I stuck my hand in and touched it. it burst into flames. This video captured by a viewer just across the street. I just went and sat on the light over there. And before Daniel knew it, his truck exploded. I looked up and saw debris in the air and I just took off running. Down, you got full air. BB police and fire put out the flames. Sorry I caused somebody some problem. And Daniel's red truck, a total loss. And my only means of transportation. Instead of getting his flame grilled burgers, and I didn't get them yet, but they sure charged me on my credit card. Well, now he has to wait. But I, I won't hold I won't hold Burger King to that. <laughs> that was Rochelle Turner reporting on switching gears. Support still rolling in for Bowley Elementary yesterday. Slim's Chickens held a breakfast fundraiser for the school. Teachers came out and held up signs along Cypress Street, waving cars down to get them to come inside the restaurant for delicious waffles and, of course, some of that good chicken. Bowley principal Sandy Bates says since the devastating fire, the community has been really generous. We just want to tell the community how much we appreciate everything they've done. It has been overwhelming and the support keeps coming in and we absolutely are overwhelmed with, the, with everything that everyone's done. And we 100% of the proceeds from the fundraiser went to the school. No time is running out to get tickets for the St. Jude Dream Home. Folks, we've got less than 700 tickets left. Breco Construction built this year's home in Monroe's Egret Landing. $100 buys your chance at a home worth $450,000. Get yours by calling 800-726-9874 or go to myarklamist.com and click on St. Jude Dream Home under the community tab. And coming up on NBC 10 News at 10, new warnings about how much time we spend in front of the screen. But don't worry, that doesn't mean turn the channel just yet. NBC's Dr. John Torres gives us important information for both kids and parents. And our dry weather that we've been enjoying all weekend will last into the uh, upcoming work week here. But unsettled weather returns, bringing quite a bit of rainfall. Time out all the details coming up when NBC 10 News at 10 continues. Need guidance on making better financial decisions? Watch Your Money. And get tips on everything from home mortgages to protecting yourself from Internet fraud. Your Money, Monday on NBC10 News Today. Brought to you by Homeland Bank. The Bayrack Shrine Circus Mystery Seat Contest comes to the Monroe Civic Center, Saturday, May 4th, 10 a.m. performance only. If you're sitting in a lucky seat in intermission, you could win great prizes from these fine sponsors. So don't miss it. I'm going to take my car. What do I do? Before the repo man pays you a visit, call Sam. Sam can help you protect your assets and get back items already taken. Bankruptcy isn't what we do. It's all we do. Call Sam. Hi, I'm Katrina Wiley with Smigs. Does it seem like you never have time to go to the grocery store? Or are you always missing out on the good sales? That's why I'm here. Send me. I'll go. So find us on Facebook and send us your list. Houston, where cultures come, come together. together, where inspiration takes center stage, and big dreams come true. It's where fun happens every day. Houston's the city on the move. It's a city that makes you groove. That's the heartbeat. That's the rhythm. It's my town. It's my town. My town. My town. Our town. H town. Houston is a city that inspires. Visit Houston for yourself and find out where the inspiration leads you. At Vantro Toyota, you can get $2,000 rebates. You can get 1.9% for 60 months. You should hurry to Vantro Toyota. Get huge discounts on new 2019 Ram 4s and huge discounts on new 2019 Highlanders. Plus, giant $2,000 rebates or low 1.9% for 60 months is available. 1.9 for 60. So hurry to Vantro Toyota. Now more than ever, right on the corner, right on the price. C10 News at 10 continues. Two new warnings out 
just this week about how much time we're spending in front of our screens and the consequences for our, our health. Medical correspondent Dr. John Torres reports. Six-year-old twins Charlotte and Claire love coloring and playing outside. But like most kids, they can't get enough of games on their tablets. It's a struggle for their parents, Ed and Carolyn Marks. So they push for more active and creative play. The benefits of their off-screen activities are just really expanding their imagination, learning how to interact with each other, and learning just a lot of social skills. Another benefit, staying physically fit. So important that the World Health Organization just released new guidelines about kids and screen time. It says children under two should have no screen time at all. Ages two to four, no more than an hour a day. But it's not just kids. Another new study reveals adults and teens aren't moving enough. Adults are sitting more than six hours per day and teenagers over eight. They're spending more time on computers, TVs, and videos. And it's putting people at greater risk for diabetes, obesity, heart disease, and cancer. Dr. Luke Laffin is a preventive cardiologist at the Cleveland Clinic. What are some of those small things we can do during the day to help improve our health? We can walk from our car to our office at a brisk pace. We can take the stairs. Um, we can even walk to lunch. Um, all those things can happen. So just getting up and moving. Makes a big difference. Well, let's do it. So this 10-minute walk we're doing, how much is that going to help? It's going to help a tremendous amount. Really, just if we make it part of our daily routine, we're going to decrease our risk of stroke, heart attack. A reminder to stand up and step away from the screen. Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Cleveland. You know, me and Brian were just discussing during the story, our job keeps us out and about. All, all day. All At least day uh, three long. days for me, five days for her, so. And what's the weather going to be like for... Well, uh, two more days back. to get out and get active before rain chances move in. Time out all the details coming up when NBC 10 News at 10 continues. Stay informed with the Business and Consumer Report on NBC 10 News today. Featuring big business and consumer stories that affect us right here in the Arkle News. Tomorrow at 5 on NBC 10 News Today. Sponsored by Goldman Equipment. Savings are in full bloom in Interstate Hyundai. It's the Spring Fever sales event. A Santa Fe 23880, a Kona 19880, a Sonata 17880, and a Launcher 13880. Or choose amazing pre-owned deals like a 16 Genesis G80, 265 a month, a 16 Chevy Malibu, 209 a month, a 13 Ford Taurus, just 142 a month. Shop interstatehyundai.com. Spring savings are yours, where it doesn't take a big payday to buy an Interstate Hyundai in West Monroe. The McCartney family got a new addition this fall, our first grand dog, Penny. This is Penny. We love her, but she can be a handful. She's a Cavapuchon. She's our little tater tot. They send me lots of pictures and videos, but I still miss her. She's a cutie, but she sure is wild. Our first grand pup. She's a lot of work, but we love her. Sometimes it's the small things in life, like this little four-pound ball of fur, that make life interesting. From my family to yours, we want to be your lawyers for life. Call 888-8888. At Jim Taylor Auto Group, we like to make the impossible possible. No matter your game, we've got the specials for you. With us, it's all about the experience. Like the feeling you get when you score the winning shot at the buzzer or hit the walk-off homer to win the game. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you're into. Just put your game face on and come experience what we're all about at Jim Taylor Chevrolet. We've got the bases covered this season with all the local Little League action. Catch it on League Lights, Tuesday on NBC10 News Today and NBC10 Sports at 6. League Lights, brought to you by Spartan Adventure Park. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Sunday evening to you. Hopefully, we took advantage of the beautiful weather that we once again had across the Arklamas. Not necessarily high pressure over us. We did have a stationary boundary that uh, kind of enhanced that cloud cover this morning. But once that did clear, skies were able to uh, clear out here. and We warmed up very, very nicely. Pretty close to what we would normally see for this time of year. So, uh, just one degree above that. Lows coming in pretty close to our normal as well for this time of year. As far as our temperatures go right now, depending on where you're at, generally upper 60s to lower 70s. So 
So again, just kind of another mild evening on tap and uh, really not going to be seeing this changing over the next couple days or so as uh, we start to see just the humidity sticking around here. Live storm tracker Doppler radar not showing anything, really hasn't shown anything all day today. But as you can see, this is what used to be a cold front here and uh, it is kind of draped itself over the southern plains in the mid south. Now it's lifting as a warm front into Oklahoma and uh, still kind of draped over our area here. But uh, skies are clear despite this and uh, we'll still have some nice weather as we head into the upcoming week. But changes are on the way, especially as you can see Thursday and uh, into Friday as we have some uh, active jet stream patterns setting up over us for the remainder of the work week. So um, rain, ch rain chances will start to get here as early as uh, Wednesday or so, and they can add up to quite a bit here as we go through the upcoming work week. So Future Tracker keeps bouncing around here earlier during our five o'clock newscast. It was showing in over an inch and a half, and now it's just above one inch here. You're seeing a lot more uh, yellows though in Southern Arkansas. And that's close to two inches. So uh, generally, again, kind of one to two inches of rain as uh, you know the next few days or so. Looks like the heavier rains will stay out over towards the uh, Texas, Oklahoma area, with Dallas approaching potentially five up to five inches possibly. So uh, keep an eye on it too. Uh, as far as any sort of severe weather goes, really not looking at the potential for it at this time here at least. But uh, we'll keep our eye on it, and uh, if anything changes, we'll let you know. This really won't do too uh, well for our. River, or our river levels here as uh, Washita River still running high just below that major flood stage. This does not take into account all that rainfall that is expected this week. So for tonight, going to be dropping down to the lower 60s. It'll be clear and mild, so uh, it's really going to be a beautiful night once again. And uh, for tomorrow, it's going, or tonight, for the rest of the Arklamas, so might get before I get ahead of myself here, mainly 60s across the area, so uh, mild again. And uh, for tomorrow, going to be pretty similar to what we saw today, with highs just a few degrees warmer than what we saw. So uh, about 84 degrees here, and it just a few degrees warmer than what we would normally see. So forecast highs for tomorrow again are generally going to be 80s across the vast majority of the Arklamas. So taking a quick look at the seven-day forecast here, as I mentioned, quite a bit of uh, unsettled weather on the way. So Monday and Tuesday uh, are going to be the nice days of the upcoming week and uh, pretty much almost exact carbon copies of each other with middle 80s for highs and then by the time we get into Wednesday those rain chances return best chance for showers and thunderstorms is Thursday with scattered showers and thunderstorms continuing all the way into the weekend unfortunately but uh, again as I mentioned not really looking too much in the way of severe potential with this so there is some good news with that as always we'll keep you updated if anything changes that's gonna be it for weather more with sports and Chris immersion coming up after the break watching NBC 10 news at 10 Hit the water this year with a brand new boat from Wood Marine in Ruston. They have a great line of boats from Rome, pontoon boats, bass boats, jog boats, boats for whatever you do on the water. Deals that float your boat. Wood Marine in Ruston. New Kias are better than ever. They're loaded with premium features you'd only expect at a much higher price. Get to Sparks Kia and take a test drive today. New Kia Optimas with brake assist, blind spot and cross traffic warning, lane departure avoidance, rear camera and Bluetooth are only $19,995. And new automatic Fortes with forward collision avoidance, Bluetooth and rear camera, now only $16,995. Plus Kia's 10 year 100,000 mile warranty. Hurry in now to Sparks Kia in Monroe. I'm behind on payments, and I'm afraid they're going to garnish my paycheck. What do I do? Stay calm and call Sam. Let's stop the garnishments before they start, because bankruptcy isn't what we do. It's all we do. Call Sam. We just made the stress of your commute disappear. Introducing the all-new possibly smart Nissan Altima with Pro Pilot Assist. It's groundbreaking tech that takes the stress out of heavy highway traffic by helping you stop and start without touching a pedal. Experience Pro Pilot Assist, now available on four of our most popular models. For a limited time, save $2,000 or get a low $239 per month lease on the 2019 Nissan Altima. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Finley, and I'm excited to introduce to you our new dentist, Dr. Mallory Devnell. Hey y'all, I'm a West Monroe girl, but I've been gone for nine years studying and practicing general and sedation dentistry. Now I'm delighted to be back and working at Dr. Kevin Finley's office with his amazing team. We want to invite you to come and see us and the amazing things we have to offer here. Implants, sedation dentistry, cosmetics, and Botox to name a few. Come let us be your new dentists and we'll take really good care of you. 
Now, your local sports with Chris Demersion. While Bree is looking at her selfie collection, many in southern Arkansas have a chance to see some of the rising stars in the LPGA. This is part of the Symmetra Tours El Dorado Shootout. At least 600 golfers from the tournament have moved on to the LPGA at one point. Julieta Granada versus Sydney Clanton. Clanton putts for an eagle for, and for the tourney win, but she misses. And Granada would sing birdie putts to go to a shootout. Third hole of the shootout, Clanton makes a birdie to win this thing. The whole thing, the championship is hers. First time ever. You know, it was long, but um, the first Symmetra event I won, I did seven playoff holes. So three seemed a lot shorter to me than seven. It was a good day. Um, had to grind the whole day. Um, but yeah, long. Well, the Texas wrap up their senior weekend at ULM while their home field was damaged by Thursday's tragic tornado. They hope to, use, they hope to sweep CUSA's best team in the East, Western Kentucky. Presley Galloway in the circle makes Rebecca Engelhart look foolish. One of Galloway's three strikeouts. Western has two on, by the way. Uh, or actually, Texas have two on. Sloan Stewartson singles up the middle, brings him home. Texas take a 2-1 lead. They'd hang on to sweep Western Kentucky 7-1. They're at Southern Miss next weekend. More softball for you. Warhawks win back-to-back -back Sunbelt Series. They edge Georgia State in the ATL. By the way, quick shout-out to uh, Southern Arkansas. They defeat Henderson State. They are your GAC regular season champions. Ah, talking a little grambling Southern baseball. Nice crowd over at Ellis Field this afternoon. G-Men already down 9-1 in the third inning. Jacks have runners in the corners. This pitch slips through the catcher's legs. That allows William Nelson to score. Now a 10-1 ball game. GSU still fighting. Relief pitcher Grant Landry retires Kobe Taylor looking. Landry in the day with five strikeouts, but Grambling falls 15 to three in seven innings. Next up, Arkansas on Tuesday. Over to Jones Vegas, Jonesboro, Arkansas. I used to call it Jones Vegas. Top five, uh, ULM's calling Gordon at third base. But well, this pitch gets past the catcher. Gordon slides in, avoids attack. We're all not at a one. Same frame, Braden Barrett, nice guy, is 90 feet away. Trent Tinglestad sends him home thanks to this single. They go up 2-1. Warhawks win the series 4-2 for Arkansas State. They'll host Alcorn on Tuesday. Tough weekend for the Bulldogs, and it ends in a sweep at the hands of Rice. Tech plays at NSU on Tuesday. Big weekend for a half dozen area softball teams. They represent in Northeast Louisiana and the fast pitch 48 in Sulphur, but four return home as state champions. And 4A, West Washita wins their first title ever when they blanked Buckeye 3-0. Mangum would walk off Kinder 9-8 in the 2A championship game. Grace Underwood, your hero right there for the Lady Dragons. Over in 1A, Oak Grove goes on to defeat LaSalle 10-4. They claim the crown in Class A. They win back-to-back -back state titles. And Clayburn Christian survived a slugfest. They powered past Northside Christian 18-15 in the D5 championship. So humbling to be a player on this program, to an assistant coach, to a head coach, and watching all these years. The first state championship we've ever brought back for softball, and uh, to leave 4A this way is a great, it's a great statement. This team stays together, and they just keep plugging and plugging, and that's what they did today. Even though we was a returning state champion, I think everybody kind of looked past us, and uh, it, w it didn't please them very much. Over at ULM's tennis courts, Neville had a big day in the 2A or Division II state championships. The doubles team of Taylor Harris and Helen Johnson finished runner-up to St. Michael Archangel, but they won the overall team championship. And by the way, Caroline Graham wins back-to-back -back singles titles. Um, I don't know. We're just really proud. I'm just happy that we ended on this note. We worked really hard this year, and we're happy that we can make it to the finals. We never, yeah, we've never like played that well. Yeah, so. we've never made it this far. Yeah, so we made it, and that was our goal last year. Before we wrap, ULM's Marcus Green is off to Atlanta. The Warhawk was drafted in the sixth round, 203rd pick by the Falcons. According to the team's GM, they'll list Green as a running back. Uh, me and my family were getting ready to go uh, to my draft dinner, actually, and then they finally, I got on the road, and I was like, maybe I'll catch it when I get to Buffalo Wild Wings, and then as soon as I got on the road, I had my phone hooked up to the speaker, and I got a call, and they were like, you ready? are you ready to be a Falcon? I was like, yes, sir. And Bria, by the way, he is not single. He has a girlfriend. More Bria and Brian Briggs up next on Channel
I'm Derek Kennedy with the Kennedy Insurance Agency. I would like to thank our current customers for having the confidence to do business with us. It's our commitment to offer a great product at a fair price with award-winning service. So I challenge, have you had your business swapped from agent to agent with no input? Is service still a challenge? If so, you can call myself, Karen, Landon, or Taylor. Please stop by. There's our world-famous on-road attraction. If you've never seen yourself in a Mercedes, you've never seen these offers. Lease the 2019 GLC 300 for just $4.79 a month at the Mercedes-Benz Spring Event. Hurry in before April 30th. Houston, where culture comes together. Where inspiration takes center stage. And big dreams come true. It's where fun happens every day. Houston's a city on the move. It's a city that makes you groove. That's the heartbeat. That's the rhythm of my town. Of my town. My town. My town. Our town. H-Town. Houston is a city that inspires. Visit Houston for yourself and find out where the inspiration leads you. Hi, I'm Randall Jilly. For over 40 years, Jilly's has served our community with exceptional service. We have some of the best trained employees in our industry, some that have been with us for over 26 years. During Linux Spring Sales Event, receive up to $1,700 rebates or finance a new Linux system for as low as $116 a month. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Just call the local guys, Jilly's Heating and Cooling. Jilly's Heating and Cooling. Meteorologist Reed Leibarker, weekdays on NBC 10 News today. Two more nice days here as we head into the upcoming work week and temperatures will be in the mid 80s. A little bit cooler with the uh, rain that moves in for basically the remainder of the seven day forecast. Scattered showers and storms through the majority of the period with the best chance on Thursday. And uh, there will be a little bit of instability around, I'm not really tracking any significant severe weather at this time. We'll keep you updated if things change. But uh, one to two more inches can be expected as we go through the extended. So uh, not the news that we want to hear, and hopefully drier times are on the horizon. Definitely not the news that I wanted to hear. And for the record, Chris, I have a man. His name is Jesus Christ. How does that sound? It's okay. I'm single, so <laughs> that makes me feel better for you. But Randy will join you guys tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock.